Fuka woke up to see a hazy figure at the foot of his bed, silhouetted in the morning sun. Um, uh -oh. no, dear. Uh -oh. It's only grand. Luca rubbed his eyes. The oh, kind, man. concerned face of his grand came into focus. Uh -oh. How are you feeling? I mean, uh -oh. anything you want to talk about? I don't feel like talking. Uh -oh. just as well. How about you sit here and listen a bit? Whatever you and Rolo thought about doesn't matter. When he... Grand silenced Luca with a gentle pat on the leg. Smack. Uh -oh. Fights happen between friends. Er, fights between friends happen. Uh -oh. What was said doesn't matter. Uh -oh. The important thing is that it's not the last thing you ever say to each other. Well, he says stuff about that. Really? Well, then F him. No. Yeah, you shouldn't say bad things. You were just mad. Uh-huh. Uh, what did you mean? Uh, and did any... Uh, did you mean any of the things you said to him? No. Good. Well, I must appreciate friends in their best moments. And accept them in their works. And give them lots of candy. No festivals today. You don't want to miss that, do you? I guess not. Seems like a good opportunity to make amends with Rolo, doesn't it? Luca gave a reluctant nod. Go buy him a corn dog and apologize. But he's the one that... What did I just say? I am a corn dog. Very good. Everything's better with corn dogs. And funnel cake. And candy. I need to get going now. Got some last minute festival business to take care of. I'll come find you at the fountain just a little after lunch. Alright. I love you, Luca. I love you too. Luca took a deep breath. I lied. Chapter 6 Through Thick and Thin Despite Luca's bitterness, Gran was right. He needed to hash things out with Rollo. A big fight changes the nature of a friendship. Whether, in the end, it is for the better or for the worse, all comes down to understanding. If one is not careful, the same familiarity that builds the strongest of bonds can become the wrecking ball that shatters them. Luca emerged from seclusion, taking in the crisp festival air, but the events of the day weren't on his mind. He had to find Rollo. Luca? Rollo wanted me to tell you something. What? Give me. What is it? Roxy rolled her eyes, shaking her head. <sighs> a space adventure. Uh, oh, you needn't buy it. If ye be brave, go somewhere quiet. Uh, Roxy, I don't. It's a riddle, Luca. My goofy little brother wants you to find him. Luca looked down and kicked at the dirt. Look. I know you two had a fight. The only thing more annoying than my little brother is my little brother without his best friend. So I'm doing this one uh, this one favor. Now I need you uh need one favor from you. Whatever it is that went down between you two, squash it. Or I'll squash you. How good the beetle hunt? Very rotten. I haven't uh, seen so much as an whatever that is. And it's not just the beetles. This morning I couldn't find any critters at all. 
like everything that buzzes or skitters just packed up and left. I'm sure they are out there somewhere. Maybe all the commotion of the festival just spooked them. Yeah, maybe that's it. Welcome to our festival. Don't forget to come back later for Mr. Kerr's speech and the uh, Perennial Harvest Festival sign reveal. Don't want to miss it. Jeff was staring into the distance with a wistful look. Hey, Jeff, everything all right? Oh, yeah, just everything's fine. I mean, used to be. Just ain't these days, you know? I really do, actually. Jeff turned to Luca with a furrowed brow, then gave an understanding nod. You do, don't you? For a moment, the two now shared that same wistful gaze. Then it was over. Yeah, <laughs> every single time. Yep. Wait for it. Unexplained uh, sound once again noted. Like clockwork. What a bunch of drones. Ah, uh, you have no idea, do you? Ain't moving. I like you. Lucas winter coat decommissioned for the summer. With the cold holding out longer than usual, he reconsidered its usefulness. Okay, so not here. Oh, the library. Why are there so many of you? I don't think I've seen you before. Piper, you're actually taking a break from studying. I wanted to see what all the fu uh, festival fuss was about. Can't help but notice. It still brought your book pack full of books. Luca backpacks uh, can carry a lot more than just books. Go, Joe. What you got there? Books. I got a question for you. What do you think this whole festival is for? Way I figure it, Perennial Harvest is trying to win over the town. Like, pride, but with balloons. Cynical, I like where your head uh, head's at. That's why I assumed at first until I uh, uh, eavesdropped on a couple of gossipy clipboards. Well, if I told you that this whole thing is really a special shindig for a super special guest of honor. Special guest? Who? I haven't dug that deep yet, but whatever it is, P PH thinks it's a big deal. <sighs> Hi, Toppy. How are you? Luca, you did, you know, did you know the Beacon Pines is actually unincorporated? A lot of people don't know that. Well, yeah, I didn't know. What does that mean? It's a, most public works are handled internally. We, we do all the pipelines, water treatment, building regulations. Uh-huh, that's great. Fence is taking. Emergency. Uh... I don't like either of you two either. <laughs> hey, Luca. Otto's eyes lit with excitement. <laughs> I've been expecting you. Bravo on deciphering the first riddle. The first. Oh, you didn't think that was uh, that was all, did you? Rollo does go out of his way, doesn't Kyle he? Kyle straightened up and cleared his throat as if preparing to sing. Ahem. 
Our planet, uh, Barpool, you, you may take issue. When the fifth issue, uh, fifth king dies, you'll need a tissue. Stared at Luca eagerly. Get it? Let me tell you? No, it's okay. Let me figure it out. Alright, when you find it, uh, bring it here to be verified. And if you decide you want a hint, the offer still stands. Ah, oh, you found Kyle it. Moved his book from the desk and replaced it with Luca's, turning on the lamp. As he slid the book under the purple light, two words glowed: "The Adventures of Hank Atomic, Issue 5. Luca clicked his tongue with recognition. Rolo's cipher pen. He used to write secret messages everywhere with that. And only I had the special flashlight needed to reveal it. I lost it. Oh, apparently you traded uh, G off for this purple light bulb. Parted with this entire Halloween candy stash. Oh, Rolo. No. Let's see here. Kato began flipping through the pages, stopping when he hit a glowing word. Get away with such a grift. He continued flipping. Only found in Grift and Grub. Part. Reaching the end of the book, Kato looked up. That's it. Grift in Grub Cart. Grift in Griffin. Griffin's Grub Cart. He wants me to go to Griffin's snack stand. Ah, brilliant. It's Rafton. Look on the rest of the scavenger hunt. Thanks, kiddo. La la la. I forget who Griffin is. All right, the lizard guy. Hey, Griffin. Did Rolo come? Before Luca could finish his sentence, Griffin handed him a corn dog. Oh, that's it. Bought and paid for. Enjoy. I thought we were supposed to be a riddle or something. Luca shrugged, taking a sizable bite out of the corn dog. Yeah, it's called. Oh yeah, it's been sitting here for a while. Well, I wanted me to be sure to give you that one specifically. Well, that's Luke just. Tongued at his cheeks, feeling something rough between his teeth, he reached into his mouth and pulled out a slip of paper. Oh come on, that's not how fortune cookies work. He shook off the bits of corn dog to read the slip. A pick up when you need some pep. Near the fountain, up the step. Luca finished off the remainder of the corn dog. Eh, this is going to be a whole thing. If you like to share your thoughts, eh, strive to improve. Now. Yep. say near the fountain up the step okay so I, oh back here I haven't been back here ah. there you are Luca there's no way I'm actually doing this it's way below my paragrade oh come on you big stiff let the kids have some fun fine but Rolo owes me one. Lumi waved his hands around sarcastically as he began. What takes flight but has no wings? Your final task a friendship brings. See, that wasn't so hard. That's like when I flex. Ah, I feel so cheap and somehow. I think it's sweet.
Good luck, Luca. Ah! Okay, I know. Hey. Hey. Did you find the com uh, did you find the comic book? Yes. In the corn dog? Yeah. Well then. I know it doesn't make up for what I said, but here you burned it. Rolo sheepishly handed Luca the balloons. Oh, yeah, floating away. Thanks. You didn't have to go through all this trouble. I'm sorry I got so mad. You, you, you were supposed to let me apologize first. Oh, sorry. Now you've apologized twice before me. Just let me do this. Ruka, I'm really sorry. Is everything that's happened with your mom and all? I've always wanted to be there for you. Be a good friend, you know? When you said they were hanging out with so, uh, someone else, I kind of freaked out. Oh no. Still my turn. I felt like you needed so, uh, some new friend to help you. It meant I wasn't good enough. But that was selfish and wrong. I was wrong. I'm so sorry, Luca. Okay, apology over. You have to you have to accept my apology. Be my friend again. Luca threw himself at Rollo, hugging him as tightly as he could. Hugs. Rollo, I don't deserve you. I don't deserve you either. That's why we deserve each other. So, what else you want to do today? You can snoop around and try to find some info about your mom. Snoop where? They could probably sneak into Runnial Harvest HQ while everyone's at the festival. Aren't you curious about the stuff on those those clipboards right down? Well, if we get caught, I think uh, I've had enough excitement for one week. Let's just make the rest of the day about us. Really? Yeah, the rest of the world can wait one more day. You know, I have been uh, wanting to get some work done on, on the MCDC at Miss Control. The aim is a bit unpredictable. That sounds perfect. Scamper, scamper, scamper. Yay! Or yay! Oh, I almost forgot. I ran your grand this morning. Just me to give you this. Rolo handed Luca an unopened letter. I'll wait for you inside while you want to read it now. Letter? Luca, some things are going to happen that might be difficult for you to understand. If I am honest, I hardly understand. But whatever happens, I need you to know that I love you. None of this is fair to you. You have already lost so much. We both have. I wish there was a simpler way forward. But if there is, I haven't thought of it. You're grounded. God knows I've tried everything I've done. I did for you. That's why I've set up the bombs. I hope someday you can accept that. Love, Gran. I love you too, Gran. He folded the paper into his pocket and had it up the ladder. <laughs> What's up with the letter? Anything you want to talk about? Maybe later. Do it whenever you want. You know, I really didn't have to go uh, go through all that just to apologize. I know, but I've been looking forward to the festival for weeks. I ruined everything with my big mouth. That was the best way to make sure you still had a good time without me. Yo yo. I was at a loss for words, but that was fine. Words aren't always necessary. This really seems nice. Was, was it nice? We can still go. Nah, yeah, it's fine. But it's always next year. Sadly, this was untrue. A distant rumble shook the treehouse. Huh? What was that? Oh man, we missed the fireworks. It was not fireworks. It was something the boys couldn't possibly Hi, Sabby. comprehend. Something as old and cruel as time itself. Muffins? 
Um... Are you sure? I, I... Can you hear me? Oh. Um... Oh. A shockwave of cold tore through the room. A bitter, unfathomable chill. Before they could react, it encased them in ice. Two boys, reunited by friendship, only to be cruelly separated by a malevolence beyond reason. And so, our story ends on this melancholy scene. In a silent treehouse turned statuary, in a town brought low by its secrets, sits a pair of friends alone together. For the rest of time, we end. Um. No, that can't be the ending. It simply can't. I won't accept it, and I hope you won't either. There are more endings, more possibilities. I, I can feel it. We are just going to have to sort through them all until we find the one that fits. Thank you all for watching. You're welcome to come see me record these episodes live at twitch.tv slash superbunnybun. You can also come say hi on Twitter at superbunnybun. But most importantly, I'd really appreciate it if you could like yourself, comment about how awesome you are, and subscribe to happy thoughts. And until next time, stay spicy and huggable. Bye!